So, Shooter, what are we doing today? Fixing the tail light. What did you do to it? I had nothing. Cro what did corrosion do to it? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right uh, here, you just uh, curled it right off. Yeah, a couple of wires you have broke. Uh, see right here? That's, uh, these are nice aftermarket bulbs. They're really bright. You can see really good. Supposedly they're illegal, but they're, they're, uh, they're you don't have to ever get pulled over for it or anything. What so, are you going to pull over in reverse? <laughs> so, yep, you're going to have uh, oh, tail lights. You're going to have. Uh, Come come describe uh, what happened over here, pal. <laughs> hey, what happened over here? Here you're in the pedal. Was up all night plowing. Uh, someone moved the trailer, and then in a big wide open lot, and then I was, there was a car right here, trailer right here, and I was backing up to go like that to push up by that car, and there was a. 22 foot flat by the trailer behind me. So whose fault was it? The guy that put it there or yours? I was mine because I was driving. <laughs> exactly. Whoever's driving, you're responsible. The top of the trailer hit, bent that in pretty good, broke the plastic piece off here, just bent that in. No, well, not the end of the world. No one's hurt. So you're going to have dented bumpers, you're going to have tail lights out, you're going to have uh, all sorts of fun stuff. I have uh, paint chipping off randomly. I come out one morning and there's a foot of paint chipped off the truck. Unreal. The truck's only 10 years old. I mean, to some people that's old, but to me that's not that old. And uh, yeah, you're gonna plow's freezing up. All right, guys, you're gonna have employees steal your nice gloves and not see them for a month. You're gonna have just, you know usual stuff like this, uh, scratched up plows and whatnot. You are going to have. Piles break down like this one, that up and down cylinder quote. Well, Summer last video, you saw that. You're gonna have, uh, I don't know if you can see that, you're gonna have uh, cracked windshields. You are going to have uh, employees do this to your trucks. Massive scratches right through paint. You are going to have trailers rust away like this thing. I bought this trailer when I first started. Uh, it was just in the, it was in the spring. I didn't have a ton of money. And I didn't want to take out a loan, mostly because I probably couldn't get approved. Um, so I, I went out and bought what I could with cash. It was 2011, it's a PJ, and the thing like rusted away. It's, it's like seven, eight years old, and it's like half rusted away. So this spring I'm going to buy a brand spanking new one, um, probably in cash. We use that thing for a month this season, and then uh, get a brand new one. You're going to have glass on skid steers get smashed out like this one, or busted out and thousand dollars, thousands of dollars in repair bills. You're gonna have flat tires sometimes every day, sometimes once a month. You are going to buy, going to spend 150 to 200 bucks on a spreader only to use it once, throw it in the back of the truck and have the, uh, the little thing here where you adjust it to like, open that chute on there. You're gonna you spend 150 bucks on it, use it once, and then pull up the next time you use it and that's gonna be busted off and gone. And so you only get one use out of it. You are gonna go spend 800 bucks on a nice snowblower Use it twice, give it to a crew, and get it back like this, in pieces. No bars there, uh, bent wheel, uh, broken broken chokes, um, yeah, more fun stuff. You are going to buy snow pushers, um, skid steer attachments, and they're going to get all, uh, and they're going to get all bent up like that. This is a brand new foot. Oh wait, no, this is, this is the old one. Um, it's, as you can see, it's just about worn through there, right, right here, just about worn through. Right here's a brand new one. I told the guy, I said, you cannot hit curbs to these feet. You lift up when you, when you come into, when you come to a curb, you lift up, you, you're going in and you lift up and go up and over. And look at this, that's, that's a brand new foot. All twisted, bent it up, look at this. this, this right here, this is bent in from hitting curbs. This is the kind of stuff you're going to be dealing with. And I just want to make this clear too that, um, this is my first year with this many guys. Last year it was just me, one man show. Let me tell you, things were easy. If you think managing yourself, just your one guy, doing your own thing is tough, sell your truck, sell your plow, go get into something else, it ain't gonna work. Last year just me, it was easy. I did about 40 counts myself, just residentials, uh, some smaller commercial, whatever. But now these are the things you're gonna, you're gonna run into when, you, when you're managing six, eight, nine, ten guys. I want to make clear that this is my first year running this many guys, but every one of these guys that's been in my skid, my truck, everything, they're all experienced. They're first year working for me, but every single one of them has a past experience. 
but it's kind of stuff happens. I mean, yes, some people it happens to more than others. Some people it's every event they're wrecking stuff. But I mean, when you get that many guys out there, that many guys going, that kind of stuff just happens. It just kind of comes with the game. So, and for when you run my ramps, they're strapped up here. Why well, I'm strapped on here and not down there in that door. The undercarriage underneath there is all coming apart. Why not? I was saying earlier, there's trailers rusting away. Look at that right there. Just a huge hole. It's, uh, it's on its last leg. It's a good winter trailer, but it's a good, good game. Like I said, beginning of the spring, I'm getting a new one. So that's why the ramp's trapped there. We got this machine, the Kubota. I didn't want my guys to have to plow with that one side window open. It's freezing. So I called him Rob. Hey, Rob, uh, I don't want to plow with this machine, really. If you can help it, he said, all right, come drop them off, pick up this one. So this is a Kubota SSV65, which is actually nice. It's quite a bit bigger. Um, another thing is, I got I got here and I was running, running around a little bit, cleaning up, loading up attachments. I noticed that it was making a weird sound. It sounded like, the, like I just kind of felt that it was like low on fluid. So sure enough, I checked the sight glass here, and she is uh, out, completely out. So Rob actually lives not too far from me. The guy I work with at Lano. So I'm gonna call him. Hey Rob, I need some hydraulic fluid. Could you bring some home so I don't have to run all the way down to Anoka? He says, Yep, sure. I'll bring some home. I'll let you know when I get home. So I'll pick some up, throw it in here. He's uh, good to. Uh, Good to be in uh, on the same page as the guys you're renting from. So I'm gonna go drop these off in Elk River where we need them out of our townhouses where we're starting tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll, like catch you guys later. All right, so I called the local parts house and uh, they said, oh no, we don't have the right, we don't have, the, we have the passenger side one, not the drivers, which here is a difference. They said call a different one, like 10 miles away. I call them, oh no, we don't stock it. I call another one, oh no, we don't stock it. I'm like what? So then I go, I go to the Big Lake one. I originally called, and they say, "Oh yeah, uh, my, the one they ten miles away. Yeah, yeah, my has got one. Just go over there. They have it, and whatever." So I go there, and they did have it, and and then uh, yeah, we, uh, we ended up getting the right one. It's just uh, the bulbs, the bulbs uh, plug in here. There's three of them, and then this goes down underneath uh, like a junction box and plugs in, and we are gonna go get some guy, a big shooter here to crawl. Get it done. You all cover it snow and salt and. Dirt. Just had a third. Sounds like a good day. Alright. So uh, these are these are LED tail lights. Uh, this guy here broke one of the stock ones a while back, so I when I got new ones I figured I might as well get LED. So th there's just this thing instead of a bunch of bulbs, that one little plug in. It wasn't work use when I broke it. <laughs> when we were up on uh, Moax. Oh yeah, we're loading the generator or something. Uh, so this one plug in plugs into some of these and then put the reverse bulb and one of the other ones and you are good to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that uh, plugged in up underneath here. Yeah, so you can see that. Can imagine. That pack snow, yeah, it's under there somewhere. And then uh, come up all through there and get it all hooked up and good to go. Uh, brake, blinker, reverse light, good to go. All right, I wouldn't say we're mechanically inclined, but have we ever tried to fix anything we weren't able to fix? That's what I can think of. <laughs> All right, well that's good. Ready to roll for the next event. It's Monday, the 19th, I think. And, uh, or Tuesday, Tuesday 19th. And we're calling for like a ton of snow tomorrow and a ton of snow Wednesday, uh, Saturday. So, should be good. All right, see you guys later.